The 2022 Nippon Professional Baseball League season is upon us, so here are my top 5 intriguing hitters to watch this season. The Hokkaido Nippon Ham Fighters don't have a very good offense, but plenty of young prospects will get the opportunity to compete for an everyday job, and outfielder Chusei Manami probably has the highest ceiling of them all. Manami is an incredible athlete with great power, speed, and defense. Last season, across 65 games on the farm team, he smashed 19 doubles and 17 homers with a 949 OPS. He also had a great spring, showcasing his athleticism across all facets of the game, so it's no wonder why Big Boss Shinjo is so high on him. He does have a lot of swing and miss in his game, which limits his ability to hit for average, but he easily has 20 plus homer potential, and he's really working to improve his discipline, so the 22 year old seems poised for a breakout year in the middle of the fighter's order. Kazuma Okamoto is coming off back to back years leading the Central League in both home runs and runs batted in, but what makes the 26 year old third baseman so exciting is that he's capable of even more. He's in great form coming out of spring, and he really has a good chance to crack the 40 home run mark this season. He's got solid protection in the Yomiuri Giants lineup, and he really has the unique ability to put the offense on his back and carry them to the pennant. With former MVPs Hayato Sakamoto and Yoshihiro Maru already in the lineup, keep a close eye on Okamoto to win the award in 2022. Shogo Sakakura broke out last year with a 315 batting average and an 857 OPS across 132 games. With superstar Seiya Suzuki out the door, the Hiroshima Carp really needs someone to step up and become the new face of the franchise, and Sakakura can absolutely be that guy. He posted well above average strikeout and walk rates last season, and he really covers the plate extremely well with a compact swing, allowing him to hit for both average and power. The 23-year-old is a catcher by trade, but the Carp may be more keen on playing him at corner infield to keep their young star fresh and get him more ABs. If the Carp want to make the playoffs this season, they really need their young core to keep developing, and Sakakura should be at the front and center of the offense. After posting a 1263 OPS across 26 games in AAA last year, Ron Hell Ravello joined the Oryx Buffaloes in the middle of the season, but an injury prevented him from getting much playing time until the playoffs. But with first baseman Steven Moya gone from the team, a lot will be riding on Ravello to be a consistent power source in the lineup this season. Yutaro Sugimoto had an incredible breakout season last year en route to the home run title, but who knows how much of that he can replicate in 2022. So the Buffaloes need a slugger to go alongside superstar Masataka Yoshida, and Ravello is poised to take on that job. Throughout his minor league career, he was more of a gap power guy than a raw power guy, but he exhibited above average strikeout and walk rates, and maintained a high batting average. Now, whether or not that carries over into a full season in Japan, is unknown, but if one thing's for certain, it's that the 29-year-old first baseman slash outfielder has all the potential to establish himself as one of the best foreigners in MPB in 2022. The Chibalote Marines have been waiting for their 2017 first round pick Hisanori Yasuda to break out for quite a while now, but that hasn't really been the case. Now, to be fair, he's still only 22 years old, and he's shown improvements in his game in every season thus far. But the power really hasn't shown up yet, with a measly 335 slugging percentage for his career. There's no doubt that the Marines will be hoping that Yasuda can morph into a 20 plus homer threat at some point. And after getting two relatively full seasons of MPB action under his belt, 2022 may be the year that Yasuda does just that. He's got quick hands that enable him to drive the ball effectively, and he recently opened up his batting stance a bit more per the recommendation of teammate Leonis Martin. So while it may be a stretch to say that Yasuda is in for a true breakout year, he's going to need to have his best season yet to instill trust in the organization again. So watch for him to improve his slugging numbers and post up around 25 doubles and 15 home runs. So there you have it, 5 hitters that I'll be watching particularly closely throughout the 2022 season for a variety of different reasons. Comment down below who you're watching for this year.